with the season schedule just released, how are you feeling about this upcoming season? I feel really good. Uh, we have a great ex experienced group coming back, um, a lot of experienced guards, which I think does make a big difference when you're heading into conference play especially. And I think they're ready. They've worked hard over the summer, so I think we're ready for, for another season. So looking at the schedule, I noticed a lot of key non-conference matchups. You're going from the Atlantic 10 with LaSalle in your home opener yeah. to the Big 10 with Penn State. How do you feel about those games and why are they important for your girls? Well, I think it's important for us to play a great non-conference schedule because it prepares you for the league. And we did we did schedule, I think, three A-10 schools, a couple of CAA schools, um, just to challenge us athletically because I think we don't see that as much athleticism in the conference. And I want to see how we can defend that in case we go further uh, down the road. But, you know, just starting with LaSalle and ending with Penn State is, is a good challenge for us because last year we played well at Penn State. And I'm hoping that maybe this year when they come to our place, we might be able to pull out a, a home victory. We'll see. Definitely. So then transitioning into conference play, how what is that transition like for your team? And also your first conference game is against Bucknell. Mm -hmm. Your games against Bucknell are always exciting matchups. <laughs> Last season, you were the first Patriot League team to stop their win streak in conference play. Mm -hmm. How do you feel going against Bucknell this season and then about conference play in general? Well, I think it's it's kind of fun that we get to start with Bucknell because I know our kids um, see them somewhat as a rival for us. Um, and they're a great team still. I know they lost the, the player of the year, but still they have a a lot of talent coming back so it will be a challenge I'm sure and it is always a defensive battle with them so that should be fun um, but I think it's good you know doing the non-conference schedule like we have it and going into conference play with you know starting with probably you know maybe preseason number one so it's not like we're going in and we're playing somebody that's a, that's perennially at the bottom of the league it's a challenge and so I think the conference is a little different than what we see in our non-conference in that everybody's um, solid it's well coached league um, they're great shooting teams so um, we have to be prepared our defense has to change a little bit from non-conference to conference um, but I think you know this year's group because they've been through it a couple of years I think they look at the schedule and they see like there's not a game on our schedule that's that's overwhelming for them so um, I think they're ready and you know the conference is always challenging because everybody knows you better they defend you better and it's it's it presents a little bit of a challenge for the kids just because the non-conference opponents don't know you and so we have to be able to find different ways to score and add a, a couple things when we get to conference play definitely and final question is there one game that you and the team are really excited about this season <laughs> non-conference or conference Either one. <laughs> I would say um, I would probably say Penn State is, is probably start on our schedule by our kids we have a lot of kids from Pennsylvania on our team so I think that's important for them um, but GW is also a big one because it's a local rival and we, we play them in the summertime we do some summer league stuff with them so I think uh, that's a big one and you know you want to own DC if you can Definitely. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Coach. We really appreciate it. Good luck this season. If you guys want to learn more about women's basketball this season, go to auegles.com.